Welcome to the first episode of Omlime Entertainment. I will be your host today, I'm the Dizzy Duke. We are about to play The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. I'll be playing a few episodes of this, so if you want to watch it, feel free. I've looked forward to this for ages, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan, I've read a lot of the books, and I'm about to start, should be fun. Here we go, new game. Yes! Quite fast, alright. Let's see, they're about to begin. Thank you, Fogwares, you brought us this game. Be nice to you. You too, Focus. Yep, thank you to all. I'll try not to speak during the important story events of the game. May kind of interrupt a few people, but don't worry about that. Right, let's see. London, yes, and... Gin. Some sort of weird attic. Papers, all. Who could that be? Ooh. Oh, it's a kid. Give an anti climax. Maybe they get killed. Maybe it's like Columbo. We see the kid get killed first, and we work out how it ends. No, I don't think. Was that the kid laughing? Seriously? High quality voice acting in this game, as you can tell from the laughter. Apparently we also have a derpy kid. Ow. We have a derpy kid. Ah. Oh look, What's this? Of him. What is that? Go on, play no. kid. Ba -ba. Bo -bo. Maybe it's like Chucky. Come Watson doll. Attack ba -ba -ba. derpy kid number three. I won't tell anyone, just attack him. Please. Do it. Do it. I don't think he will. It's unfair. Ha ha ha! Yes, well done, Watson doll. You deserve that kid. Ooh! What the hell? He broke the Watson doll. Little shit, he broke the Watson doll. So this is how the game's oh, gonna be. Oh look! It's a book! It's just like a play and we play through the play and the children are watching. Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. It's not about pirates, it's Sherlock Holmes, you idiot. It's not a Watson doll. No, I don't think so. Duh. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the yeah, middle. Yeah, start from the beginning. Come on, Derpy And so one. I decided to pick up my pen Derpy to relate the most disturbing one, episode of my life thus far. It all began early one morning in 1898, when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. Very important mission. Marquis of Conningham. What are you thinking, Holmes? What's happened here? Tell us, Holmes. Please, inform us. Go, Holmes. Watson, my dear fellow. We can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which Hopefully pleases yes. me. Have you really solved the theft, Holmes? And so quickly? I have indeed, Watson. And believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Oh, so dumb, Watson. Ah, you see, but you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. A few seconds later, the master of the house himself, the robbed Marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door using the sole key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realises that the famous Samoan necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory before the arrival of Inspector Baines. 
Alright, we've started. Let's look around here. Alright, don't get a bit affected, did you know? Conan Doyle purposely wrote Watson to be a little stupider. Then the reader, just as the reader, could work out the clues faster and feel like they're smart as Holmes. Of course, no one's as smart as Holmes. But, we'll do our best. We'll try. Oh, there's a clue. Hello. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. Alright then, we've got someone using diamonds to cut glass, stealing things from the diamonds. What's this? We can interact. Yep, we know we can interact. Oh, they look like they've used a diamond to cut through the window. Let's investigate. A mark, undoubtedly, made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. Exactly, just as I thought. What are your thoughts, Holmes? All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Of course, we already worked that out from it being cut through, right? Go to the chimney. What does the chimney have to tell us? Hmm. Ooh, magnifying glass. The trademark of Sherlock Holmes. We now own one of the most key items in our adventures. What else is there? Our inventory? Let's have a look in our inventory. We have some matches. Ooh, a knife. In case we get any fools trying to mess with us, we can shank them with our knives. We can give them a little stab here. that stop them. Magnifying glass. Move it about a bit, yep. I think we've got this. Near the piano. Alright, let's have a look at these music scores, apparently. And go. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Yes, yes, quite. Let's have a look here. Got some clues to investigate. And inspect. Nothing of interest here. Just there's a hand, of course. It's These interest. sooty there prints we were left by a tiny hand. I don't understand why these music scores are covered with soot. So tiny hands. We were robbed. Yet yeah, we are robbed by a really, really small person. What else we got here? Ooh, fish. Right, you. Do you know who done the crime? I take your silence as a no. I like the fish. Hello, fish. Some blinds here. Right, what else we got? Oh, art switch modes. Oh yeah. Now I can feel the full immersion of being Holmes. Hello, Watson. I can even run, move back. Yeah, high speed. Investigating. Got to be there fast. Got to find the mystery. Oh yeah. Right now I feel like Scooby Doo. Solve that mystery. All right, I can walk places by clicking. Oh, it gives you all the different views. Walk over there. Ah! I think I'll just stick with the normal view and give it a bit of running about. Alright, let's see, he's a man on a mission. Arms by the side and yeah, go Holmes. Oh, six cents. Ooh. Oh, so that's in case you're a bit stupid. Just press six cents. Oh, well, what's this then? These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. Oh, so interesting. The important documents. Oh, what's happened here? Fireplace. So, by the fire. Oh. Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. Yes, because the thief didn't like horses and candles. Footprints. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Bad servants. Oh. Get mess everywhere. Right, right. Heading well, towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Yes, why, Holmes? Why? Well, obviously, the thief is scared of stools. So he chucked it in the fire, and then uh, just wanted to get out of there, so he just went. Right, the bell pole. Let's have a look. The fire started here, just beneath the bell pole. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Maybe that's Marcus's wife. 
Very nice, classically drawn painting. Very good, very good. Oh, what's in The here? chest wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. All right, a little redundant. We didn't really need to know that. All right, what else? Let's have a six amps. Aha, what's this? Validate. A candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. But why? Did they knock the chandelier? So they ran through. Knock the fire. Stall into the fire. The stall's in the fire. Then pulled the coal to a born that there's a fire. Because they couldn't actually pack themselves. And they jumped on the chandelier. And tried to get past the window. Then disappeared like a ghost. Alright. Oh, the fish. Well, you got to test fish. I knew you'd sink. Not very well kept, this aquarium. No. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. Fishy, he did. Oh, bless him. We we'll remember you, Fishy. 2013. Fishy 2013. This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. Here's As a peach the tree. theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Yes, I thought it was your tree. Hmm, I'll be watching you. Strange, there aren't any prints. Yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. Because the tree done it. It's like the fi uh, the revival of the Triffids all over again. Uh, oh, what you got to say, Watson? What do you think, Holmes? Let us search the room before the police get here. We might throw some light onto all this. That's what we're already doing. Play Watson, you have redundant questions. Let's have a look outside. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually, when the door was opened by the servants. Oh, looks like he's done Ah, it. Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived oh, just in time. Inspector. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. Ah, but I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? Of course. It's possible. We have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. <laughs> Shame, inspector. I am pleased to see that Learned you find out. the situation amusing, Mr. Holmes. Very well, then. Explain. Dr. Watson was correct when he mentioned acrobatics, but he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was quite. in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, Mr. Holmes. Watson, how could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? I don't know. Because he is very small? Stop teasing us, Holmes. Exactly. Because he is small. Small and remarkably so agile. Do that. You're thinking of a monkey? A monkey. And a trained monkey at that. Without a doubt, a Leontopicathus rosalia from Central America. Of course, a trained monkey. Of the animal had been hidden inside the room for several hours, About calmly awaiting monkey. the signal from his master. Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. See, I knew that. The monkey emerged from Came his hiding monkeys. place and used the point of a diamond to open the glass diamond cabinet and, and steal monkeys. the necklace. He headed across to the window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool which in turn knocked aside Clumsy the fire diamond guard and, and train monkeys. started the fire. The frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pool, thus alerting the house servants. He then went to the window and began to use his diamond to Slow, cut a hole, but was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier. Knocking over oh, a candle. That's ca yeah, candle. Finally, the servants and the Marquis entered the room, leaving what the door open while friend? they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the Hell doorway. Yeah. Smart as monkey. simple as that. A brilliant explanation! Bravo, Holmes! And the necklace? 
I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? Because we paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. What she? victim? No one is dead? Yes, Watson. A poor goldfish whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces in England. Poor fella. We the aquarium is him. just beneath the chandelier. I understand. The little monkey had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium where they remain now. It's a very good looking game. Got the atmosphere perfect. Very homes like some homes in game. Marquis? Here is your necklace. That's some moustache. Intact. Wow. Just a little wet. Mr. Holmes, this brilliant demonstration does credit to your reputation. Thank you so much, Marquis. Oh, Do you wish to it. verify the authenticity of your jewel? No, I recognize it. I have spent many hours admiring it, you know. They home Good. Know? I will return it to its box and... Inspector! A bank has just been held up. You must follow me at once. Orders of Scotland Yard. What times. Sirs? Duty calls. My regards, Marquis. And well done again, Mr. Holmes. Don't they need Holmes for the Vogue, eh? There. The necklace is in its box. We've lost enough time here. Let's go home, Watson. Yeah, ah, this... Very well, as you wish. A good day to you, Marquis. With pleasure, gentlemen. And once again, thank you. Yeah, so day's work done. So few mysteries. Caught a monkey. Yep. We done well. Well done, Holmes. 22 Ivy Baker Street. Nice cup of OZ. Just relaxing after a hard day's work. This morning's newspaper. Holmes, have you read this article about you? No, Watson, not yet. And I won't have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. If you insist. Alright. That's quite fun, and we die first mission, the first little starting, we've learned how to move, we've learned how to inspect clues, we've even got a sixth sense. It's all good. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. So, thank you for watching me play the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. I've been the Dizzy Duke. Subscribe to Omlime Entertainment, our channel. So, like it, and if you want to see more, just please comment, tell us. Thank you, and uh, see you next time.